All right, guys, welcome back to the shop, and today we're going to get some oil primed up. I hope I've got her oil filter on, got the pan filled. Uh, went ahead and put the fuel pump on. I didn't put a gasket in between here because I wanted to go ahead and set this cover plate on. But I didn't, I'm going to pull this fuel pump off when I get ready to set it in the truck. It just makes life so much easier, so I'm going to leave it like that for the time being. Got the got everything covered up. We want no critters to get into it. Uh, pretty much got the block painted, and uh, I finished painting on the heads yesterday. So got some new grommets. All the plugs are in. They're just they're just hand tight though for the time being. Got my fillers back on. And so I went ahead and hooked up my oil pressure gauge to this sending unit hole. And uh, that's what this looks like right now. I've got it undone so I need to purge it. And first thing we're going to do is we'll put this oil pump primer on here. And uh, this is one of those rental, rental tool deals from, from uh, AutoZone. But... Uh, the last time I rented, I never took it back because I knew I was going to be needing it sooner or later. So on these, you just got to match up this little notch here with that groove down there. It's a lot easier on these. You can kind of feel it click in. And when it clicks in, it'll get resistance on it. One thing I have, I am missing is my hold down clamp. I don't, I can't find it and I don't have a spare evidently. Thought I did, but I hadn't found one yet. So I'm going to just have to do the best I can with it on the, like it is. Well, I hope this battery holds up. It's been out here in the shop for a few days. Shit. Sometimes you have to tap on this thing to get it to seat. I think I'm just riding on top. So that should have already had a lot more pressure in there. Maybe we'll find me a little hammer. I think I'm lined up. Now, now it's in there. So it's kind of a tight fit. I see oil coming out now. Let's see. Get all that out, get all the oil up. Alright. We got oil up. I probably just drained it all back out when I picked it up. Yep. Now maybe we can see. Set you up over here. On the oil gauge. Zoom in on it. See what we got. Oh, this battery ain't gonna make it. About almost 50 pounds of oil pressure on this one. Well, at least we know our pump's primed and we got we got oil flowing where we need it. Uh, we can check around these valve covers for any leaks. So I'm going to just leave this in here for now. And uh, every now and then I'll come back and I'll pump her up to what we got. So I'm uh, just going to give y'all an update. And uh, about the only thing I really like being done with it so far is the carburetor. And uh, I've got a, 
I've got a new rebuilt carburetor over here that I bought for my 383 and it didn't want to idle so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go through it and make sure all the jets is good I gotta put a new filter in because I stole the filter out of it and put in my old one uh, but this one should be should be a good a good one I mean it's a it was not a cheap quarter jet, so uh, and I've got a book that's going to let me know about how many turns I need to put on stuff. So hopefully we can get it tuned up and uh, get it on, and then it'll just be a matter of waiting until spring to get it uh, in the truck. And uh, I think I am going to go ahead and paint the face of this uh, balancer. I don't really want to paint the ends because I'm afraid I'll cover up the numbers. You can barely see them as it is. So uh, we'll uh, do that and hopefully this spring put her in and get her to running. And uh, so probably have another video uh, if I find anything obviously wrong with that carburetor I'll put a video up if not we'll just wait and see what it does in, sp in the springtime and until then guys thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we're gonna get started on some other videos uh, cause I am getting a little bit burnt out on engine videos engine redoing this engine and uh i want to well actually i've got to pull out the motor in my mazda and go through it but i want to get the tractor in here and work on the uh the brake seal that's leaking on it and i want to pull the baler up here and start tearing it down for uh salvage and so much to do. Y'all stay warm. I know it's cold in most areas of the United States right now. It is cool and breezy, but it is beautiful. It's just windy and cold here in Georgia. So until then, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.